Signs and Symptoms of a Car Vacuum Leak, Causes and How to Fix the Leaks A vacuum leak can cause several drivability problems, as it will bring more air into the engine and reduce its air-fuel mixture. An internal combustion engine uses an intake vacuum to control actuators, sensors, and power brakes. In older vehicles, it is used to operate specific emission control systems and draw fuel into the engine. Even a tiny vacuum leak can cause your vehicle's computer to think you need to repair a particular sensor or component. You then begin to replace parts in a vain attempt to resolve the problem. A vacuum leak usually emits a hissing sound, making it easier to find. However, sometimes you will not hear anything. To locate leaks that are difficult to find, auto shops use expensive and specialized technology. You can use simple procedures to discover the most common vacuum leaks before you visit the shop. This video will help you understand vacuum leak symptoms and identify possible signs of vacuum leaks and other details. Please support me by clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel so that you are notified whenever I upload a new videos. So, let's begin. What is an engine vacuum leak? To begin, let us define a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak is a situation where the system leaks. It usually occurs with the relay pipes. Typically, it occurs between the mass airflow sensor, MAF, and the engine. Vacuum leaks can create imbalances, affecting airflow and the fuel-air mixture. Modern cars alert you to the possibility of a defective vacuum system through sensors. When there is a leak in your engine's intake manifold, air can enter without going through the throttle body. The ECU will inject the correct amount of fuel based on airflow detected by the ECU. The air-fuel mix is crucial to how your vehicle travels and uses its fuel. You may notice many symptoms that indicate an unbalanced mixture of air and fuel. This ratio can reach 14.71. This ratio represents a lean mixture that no owner of a car wants to have in their vehicle because it makes for a bad drive. Let's look at some more signs and symptoms of vacuum leaks. Symptoms and signs of vacuum leak. List performance problems to be aware of, as a leak could cause them. Remember that these symptoms and signs are not exclusive to a vacuum leak. One or more of these symptoms can be caused by a faulty EGR valve, ignition timing problems, or insufficient compression. 1. Reduced fuel economy. You might notice a fuel injection vacuum leak manifesting itself through reduced fuel efficiency. The fuel does not burn well when there is an imbalance in the air-fuel ratio. This problem occurs primarily because of too much intake of air. A malfunctioning vacuum and tubes can lead to poor fuel usage, which could increase consumption. Problems arise from a delay in the release of exhaust gases. The gas buildup also results in an inefficient combustion of fuel. 2. Rough idle. During idling, your car engine is more susceptible to malfunctions. Unsurprisingly, rough idle is one of the most severe vacuum leak indicators. The throttle body tries to maintain an even idle speed by opening, closing the throttle valve. Your throttle body will have difficulty controlling a vacuum leak that is large enough to cause unusual idling. A vacuum leak could be causing the air-fuel mixture to become inadequate. 3. Excessive RPM at idle. While idle, vacuum pressure is present inside the intake manifold because the throttle body stops your engine from revving faster. More air is allowed into the engine when you have a vacuum leak in your car engine. It causes it to rev up. In most cases, an increased engine idle RPM can signal a leak. 4. Unusual smoke. Exhaust gases from an automobile can often indicate a problem. You may detect unique white or black smoke. The latter is more common when incomplete combustion causes vacuum leaks due to an air-fuel imbalance. The result is an accumulation of black exhaust gases. 5. Rough, delayed accumulation. A vacuum loss usually causes jerky acceleration because the engine receives the wrong air-fuel mixture due to the unquantified air entering or leaving the vehicle engine. A vacuum leak usually results in a lean mixture and delayed acceleration. The vehicle engine will try to accelerate but is being held back. Many other factors can contribute to poor acceleration. 
Always conduct a thorough diagnostic before replacing any component. 6. Backfires and misfires. Whenever a vacuum leaks in your engine, you will often experience misfires or backfires. Sometimes the air-fuel ratio can become so lean it cannot ignite the cylinders. This can result in misfire error codes such as P0300. If your engine misfires just once, the cause is usually a leak in the intake gasket. If you experience misfires in all cylinders of your vehicle, it could be due to a leak near the intake manifold. 7. Brake pads that are difficult to press. As stated previously, the vacuum unit controls your brake system, especially in large diesel engines. When the vacuum pump fails, the brake pads become difficult to press. Your vacuum pump is responsible for creating the pressure needed to brake. 8. Engine noises. Damaged vacuum hoses will usually create a high-pitched noise, as your engine is constantly drawing air into the leak. If this is the problem, then you're in luck because high-pitched sounds make it easier to detect a leak. Listen to the noise and determine its source. 9. Check the engine light. While you drive your vehicle, the engine control unit monitors and regulates the sensors. The check engine light illuminates when one of these sensors sends the wrong data to your AQ. Vacuum leaks often trigger the check engine light. A fault code will be stored in the ACU's memory that indicates the AQ detected an unbalanced mixture. 10. Total engine failure. Aside from the symptoms mentioned, you may experience other engine problems. Rough engine idling may be a sign of the problem, as can throttle issues or an abnormally fast idling rate. You may also hear a hissing sound when you start your car if the problem is more serious. You can improve your diagnosis by keeping an eye on possible blow-by. Methods for identifying an engine vacuum leak. There is more than one way to find vacuum leaks. Start using the vacuum hose chart often found in repair manuals or on labels under your car. You can locate a vacuum leak by observing the difference in engine speed or idle. Small leaks may only be detected by changing the STFT values of a scan tool. Visual inspection. Visual inspections are a great starting point when dealing with a broken vacuum tube or hose. Rubber vacuum hoses and plastic vacuum tubes can become brittle when exposed to extreme heat under the hood or atmospheric oxygen. They may also split or break easily. Rubber intake tubes in engines can also become brittle and shatter, allowing unmetered air into the system. The leak can be detected by physically manipulating the components while the engine is running. Test of carb cleaner. Carburetor cleaners or intake manifold cleaning sprays are another way to clean the carburetor. Be aware that carb cleaners are flammable and should be handled with care. It would be best to place a fire extinguisher near the spray. Spray the cleaner gently on leaks while your engine is running. After the leak has been detected, the engine performance is likely to improve as the flammable mix compensates for a low air, fuel mixture. Water test. This method is simple and inexpensive to detect a vacuum leak. All you need is a spray bot TLE full of water. Spray water on your suspect vacuum leaks, such as vacuum hose connectors, throttle plate bushings, and intake manifold seals. Make sure your engine is running. Water would be sucked into the vacuum leak, closing it temporarily. This small amount of water won't harm your engine. Mechanic stethoscope. While your engine is running, use a mechanic stethoscope without the probe or hose to check for leaks. Check your vacuum brake booster in your engine compartment and under your brake pedal. Even though minor leaks can be challenging to detect, an ear trained in vacuum leak detection may hear the distinctive whistling and the hissing sound produced by a leak. Propane torch. This is a proven method to detect vacuum leaks. It works similarly to carb cleaner. Use a small, unlit propane torch similar to the ones used for brazing or soldering, along with a rubber hose, to accomplish the task. Push the hose tip over the suspected vacuum leaks while the engine is idle. If you find a leak, the combustible gases will compensate for the low air-to-fuel ratio. Your engine may accelerate or smooth out. Propane is a volatile gas, so caution should be taken. Smoke machine. 
it is a riskier and more expensive procedure but often yields outstanding results. These costly tools are only for some, but they may be necessary if you can't find the vacuum leak. While the engine is off, seal both the intake and exhaust system and start the smoke machine to pump smoke into the intake. It would take several minutes for the mild smoke, dissolved mineral oil, to enter your system and then seek a way out. Vacuum leaks should be visible in the small amount of smoke. Therefore, perform this method at a place that is not exposed to wind or breezes. Bubble test. Pump no more than 2 psi into your intake while your engine is turned off, using an air compressor equipped with a regulator of high quality. Keeping the air pressure below 2 psi, as high air pressure can damage your sensors or valves and cause vacuum leaks. Seal your exhaust system and throttle body. Spray the mixture of water and detergent on the engine. The mixture will bubble up around the vacuum leak. What can cause a vacuum leak? A vacuum leak is often caused by a cracked or damaged intake manifold or plastic vacuum hose. It can also leak from your throttle body seal or, less frequently, through a damaged intake valve, positive crankcase ventilator, PCV, EGR valve, or a faulty booster. Locating a leak is a simple process, but it can be time-consuming. A variety of components can cause vacuum leaks. Do you think that your vehicle has a vacuum problem based on these symptoms? Finding a vacuum is relatively easy, and you can do it with or without sophisticated equipment. How to fix a vacuum leak After locating the vacuum leak, you must restore control over your vehicle. Here are some steps to fix a vacuum problem. Seal leaks. Once you have identified the weak spots in your system, it is essential to address them. The first step is to seal leaks. Map out the affected areas, which are usually located near the hoses. Use a sealant of high quality to repair the holes in the hose. Wipe down the surface. You can also use super glue to seal the spot, but this has some drawbacks like the patch falling off. Super glue can dissolve if exposed to heat. Replace the hoses that are damaged. Suppose there are many or large leak holes. Sealing them with sealant will not solve the problem. The hoses can be replaced. Replacing the hoses is one way to fix leaks that are unlikely to recur. Check and repair the vacuum unit. You need to check, repair or replace the entire vacuum unit. There may be underlying problems that can be difficult to detect. If necessary, repair screws and clips. You're ready to move on, and the vacuum pump leak issue has been resolved. Start your car and do a road test to see if there are any other abnormalities. Some frequently asked question. How much does it cost to repair a vacuum leak? The cost to repair a vacuum leak depends on a number of factors, such as the source of the leak and how difficult it is to pinpoint the leak. You can resolve the issue by replacing your intake manifold or changing your vacuum hose. Can you drive a car that has a vacuum leak safely? Driving a vehicle with a vacuum leak is not recommended, as it will reduce engine power. It could be dangerous to move along the road if you notice the leak as you go. Contact a technician if you notice any of these symptoms. Your vacuum pump may need to be tested or replaced. Conclusion once a vacuum leak has been identified, it is obvious to replace or repair the leaking component, but this approach is not always straightforward. Some valves, vacuum hoses, sensors, or O-rings on the tube, are easy to replace. Repairing some vacuum leaks can be difficult and time-consuming, such as faulty brake boosters or blown gaskets in the intake manifold. If you feel that the job is beyond your abilities, call a local mechanic for help. Remember to reset the check engine light after you have completed repairs. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Thanks.